the tragic true life and deserved death of a benefit scrounger by himself, John Faust. Hang on, John Faust. It doesn't end like this. Ah, look, you must finish your book, John Faust. What the fuck? Can I do that again? Hang on, John Faust. You must finish yeah. the book. I love it. Sorry, Vince. Can you do your just the end of it again? Yeah, come on. Himself, John Faust. The tragic true life and deserved death of a benefit scrounger by himself, John Faust. Hang on, John Faust. You must finish your book. I love it, John, but I think that I shall deserve a dandy tweak. It's shit, shit, it's all shit. My end is my beginning, Alpha and Amiga. An end I had predicted in an epic. A poetic drama, a blasphemous book of state-sanctioned torture. These chains they claim are benefits. Dead people don't claim. Oh, quite. All that and splat. I love the way Ian Duncan Smith dies on every page. And then... Bravo! 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 If the system, if the system cripples you, you must cripple the system. Oscar Wilde. Bravo! Bravo! Oscar Wilde never said that! While he may not have written it down, John, he whispered it to me through a prison door in Reading. Finish this book, John. I've completely forgotten my life. That's where you're going. Finish this book, John. Wow. Uh, I've been reading. I have to say, I've been reading your book, John, I and have, I have my part. I have to say, I've been reading the book, John, and I love my part. John, do it with the text, because you're all right. You're yes. doing that thing where you're trying to run me lines and yes. don't sweat that at the moment. Right. Okay. I admire the tenacity, but just remind no. yourself, and then it's easier. Right. You can concentrate on the acting. John, I think you should finish it. No, where are we? Well, it may. Where do you want me to go from? I'll go from the top again. Let's just okay. let's, let's let's go from the top. Let's go from. Clouds bedevil the moon. Clouds bedevil the moon. Clouds bedevil the moon. Would it help if you were further away when, you, when if you position yourself further so, away so, so, so that running. you can go? Yeah, exactly. So you can go. Hang on, John Faust. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Because you're a bit sort of hang on, yeah, like you're sort of, right. you know. Yeah, I mean maybe if we've got a bed and stuff, I can even be like. Perched right on the yeah, front, yeah, sort of yeah. like this, mm. and you can be like, hang like, on, John. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, literally, hang on, John Towers. Mm. Like, the tragic true life and deserved death of a benefit scrounger by himself. Hang on, John Faust. You must finish this book. I love it, John, but I do think the title deserves a dandy tweak. It's shit, shit, it's all shit. My end is my beginning, Alpha and Omega. An end I had predicted in an epic, a poetic drama, a blasphemous book of state-sanctioned torture. These chains they claim are benefits. Dead people don't claim. Quite, John. All that and splat. I love the way Ian Duncan Smith dies on every page. Bravo! Bravo! If the system cripples you, you must cripple the system. Oscar Wilde. Bravo! Oscar Wilde never said that. While it may be true he never wrote it down, John, he whispered it to me through a prison door in Reading. I have to say, I've been reading your book, John, and I love my part. How dare you read it? This is not some commercial ham that trots out for mere splendour. It is a demon there inside me. And yet it is myself. John, I think you should finish it. It's bold, timely, and I get great lines. I'd love a bigger part and a happy ending, see? And in return, I promise you, well, whatever do you want? Relief! That's all I want from all this. I just want it all to stop. Am I John's mind or am I out of it? Are we John's mind or are we out of it? Lies! Don't listen to them! That is so much better, Tom. Good. Good. Really? He has no mouth. This is what you did to my head. You turned my whispers into lies. This is what you did to my heart. You turned my kisses into knives. This is what you did to my hope. You turned my wishes into sighs. This is what you did to my art. Goodbye. This is what I want from my... Oh, 
Bravo, John Faust. Mm. No, this is what I want from my poets. Life, no, death, no, sex. No, I missed it, sorry, Bravo. Bravo. Drop in Nelson's blood. That is so much fun, Jan. Really, really, really. That's not meant to be the castle's Guernica. You mean the Keeper's masterpiece that depicts the terror of the Spanish Civil War? That's one. Oh no, that's the new improved work capability assessment. If they can hold that pose while he does the poem, then there must be something wrong with it. I went to the doctor's on my birthday. He was so embarrassed he'd forgotten the date he gave me a terminal illness. Ever since. Angels have followed me relentlessly, opening doors and showing me skies that the living never notice. Next word. I am the impossibility. I am the impossibility of thinking about something else when the thing you think with is thick, is sick, dark, thick glass. Hollowed, Hollowed out, I scream in the street, but I have no mouth. The voice of God, God's an unstable text. Bitter, metallic tongue, nausea, wretch. The pills I take to stay alive make me want to kill myself. Here you are, John. Is this not a bedazzling spot? Hans Stanton, the best place to watch the sunset on the East Coast, John. Reminds me of Ibiza. Ah, the lavender on the breeze. El Grey, John. Your favourite? I've ordered as a pot. Shall I be money? What fresh hell is this? Shut back out on a shitty beach. Relief! That's all I want. Direct, John. I like that. Some people can be so shy about the sex. Just the white miraculous flash of light that leaves the lungs and cleaves a patch of starless sky. Oh, that? Oh, do come back, John. Fast, you're frozen. You won't feel like this, John, not with my help. If you don't smoke, take a brownie, John, for the journey. I can't eat two. Oh. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> Poor John, of course, he cannot know he cannot drown. I will not let him. Welcome to Benefits from Hell. Oh, I think you stand up before. Before, yeah. yeah. Or maybe I should stand up when I'm saying poor John. Uh, hang on, uh, da, 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 I can't eat two, or maybe I can't, yeah, well you do, yeah. stand up and then that is directly to the audience. Poor John, he cannot know, he cannot drown, I will not let him. <sighs> of course right, he cannot look straight into it. Welcome to Benefits from Hell. I'll be waiting, John, on another washed up North Beach. I wonder if you could put a laugh in after Welcome to Benefits from Hell. You know, like yes. a boah ha 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 okay. but, you know. Okay, I'll try. Uh, welcome to Benefits from Hell. Ha ha! That's a bit, is that a bit bizarre? <laughs> no! No, a noise there would be nice. Mm. Yeah. Do it from the top, you'll find it easier. Do it from, oh, that, and do come back. You'll, you'll okay. run into it, you'll, you're a bit rabbit in the head, right, which isn't fair. Oh, that. Oh, do come back, John, first. You're frozen. You won't feel like this, John, not with my help. If you don't smoke, then take a brownie, John, for the journey. I can't eat two. Mm, oh, well, maybe, maybe I can. <laughs> Poor John. Of course, he cannot know he cannot drown. I will not let him. Welcome to Benefits from Hell. <laughs> I'll be waiting, John, on another washed up Norfolk beach. Music! Perfect, that's much better. Much, much better, Jan, that's good. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, are you oh, no. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, Jan, do that okay. again. No, you're right. Didn't know where we were. Yeah, no, sorry, fair enough. Finish this book, John, and I will give you whatever you want. I just want all that noise to stop for a start. Oh, that's better. Thank you. That was going right through my head. Welcome. I've forgotten where uh, you are. Now <laughs> will you stop following me? Now will you stop following me? Uh, Leave me alone. Be Leave gone. me alone. Be gone. Where is this place? Where is this place? Well, I'd rather not say, John, exactly where we are, as this is where I land Michael Caine. Oops. 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 That was bad.
And then what do I? A little sniff to John oh, yeah. to wake you up. A little sniff to John to wake you up. What do you want from me? Let's do this, not right. Let's sit down then because it's fair enough. Let's sit down. Now please, leave me alone. Look, you finish this book, John, and I will give you whatever you want. I just want that Sorry, noise. Stop me straight away. Why are you sat down, darling? No, oh, am I up? Uh, I can't remember what I'm doing. Finish this book, John, and I will give you whatever you want. I just want all that noise to stop for a start. Oh, that's better. Thank you. That was going right through my head. You're welcome. No, get lost or something. Uh, sorry. No, no, you're right. I'm trying now to do it without. Now will you stop following me? Now will you stop following me? Please, leave me alone. Be gone. Oh, I know. We'd worked that out so that you were over here with your stick down at the door. Do you remember? Oh, is that that bit? Yeah. And then I kind of... Oh, yes. Come yes, on yes, 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 yes. That's right. Oh, I should have got my stick in. Uh, so then I, that's, that's, because that's why, that's my cue to remember that. Okay. I'm not following you. Now, will you stop following me? Leave me alone, be gone. Where is this place? Well, um, I'd rather not say, John, exactly where we are. As this is where I land my cocaine. <coughs> Help me, oops. A little sniff to John, to wake you up. What do you want from me? Can't you see I'm trying to drown? And then I go that way. Oh. Go away! Wing wide I saw, wider than your night is dark, and darker than the secret in my heart. I am despair. You know my words! Ah, at last, the penny drops. But that's impossible, I haven't finished it yet, I can't! I know your words as I know my own heart, John, and both are stopped. I keep telling you, John, I love your work. Just tell me what you want. Oh, I don't know anymore. You tell me. Excellent. I've written as a short contract, John. Kept it simple? <laughs> simple? Nothing is simple. Life is relentless. God. For goodness. <laughs> oh. There's something else I've got to say after that. Um, don't, don't you understand? understand? I just want it all to stop. Don't you understand? I just want it all to stop. Oh, for goodness sake, John, listen to yourself. You should try immortality. Believe me, forever can be a terrible drag. <laughs> I try to make a difference to the days, John. I delegate, but it's not easy. That's why I'm here, now, with you, on my day off. Look. I even take the box of perfect health. You're saying if I sign this, I get perfect health? You're barking. Health so perfect, John. It purrs like a pussy stroke. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, you don't understand. I you don't money. understand. I need money right now in the bank. No, oh, it's too late. I've been evicted. Don't help me now! It's never too late, John. That's the truth. It's too late! Listen, I can give you more than you have wit to ask, John Faust. I doubt it. I have wit to ask a lot. But if I sign this, you promise to leave me alone. Ouch! Just a little prick, John. Enough to wet my nip. Well, if I can have anything... <laughs> Who's that? Oh, yeah. Well, if I can have anything, my car does need a new clutch. Clutch! Ah. Why not a brand new car, John? Oh, good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Perfect health and a brand new car. And while you're at it, I'll have a word with that Prime Minister. Give her a piece of my mind. Ah, President! <laughs> Vote my ass. That's the spirit, John. There. Tick that box. What's this? Meet the Pope? Why not? He needs to know how hurtful words can be. Brilliant, John. I just had another thought. Let's get him to endorse your brand new book. Oh, and Ian Duncan Smith at the DWP. Mr. I believe I am right. He must die some slow and gruesome death. I'm ahead of you there, John. He's resigned. 
Resigned? I want blood. I want his head on a platter. I want him to suffer. I'm sorry, John. I've been so busy bombing children. But I'll give him my full attention from now on. Multiple, slow, gruesome deaths. There. Tick that box. Now, make your cross. John Faust. There. Now, please, leave me alone. Look, you're here, John, at the Ninth Norwich Pride to show these fabulous people your brand new book. Wave to the camera, John. Perfect House can be one Ooh. hell of a rush. Oh, I'm John Faust, and I love it, and I'm a poet. <laughs> and a drop in a little star would do as any harm. Excellent, that's much better. Benefits, John. And if the bailiffs haven't taken everything, well, I might still have a home. I'm surprised you haven't heard, Mr. Faust. It's been all over the news. The bailiffs were killed in a freak accident when a busker tripped over her tips and fell. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> tripped over her tips and <laughs> fell into the path of a pink pair. Oh dear, what a terrible shame! Shame! It was a bloody good shot. Anything? Oh no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> anything else I can help you with, Mister Davis? <laughs> well, if you can do anything to speed up Ian Duncan Smith's head on a platter. That would be very much appreciated, Beatrice. Thank you. I'll make a note for you on your farm, Mr. Faust. Was it a gold or silver platter you wanted, Mr. Faust? Uh, not bothered. And did you want garnish? What? Yes. I want sprigs of parsley shoved up each nostril and lots of blood. Oh, that's all done here, Mr. Faust. But please don't forget to inform us if your circumstances change at all, Mr. Faust. Enjoy the rest of your life, Mr. Faust. Goodbye. Thank you, Beatrice. Goodbye. Okay, no, that's all a bit straight forward. Uh, da, 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 da. it? There's still time, John. Leave it with me. I've arranged your book launch, John, in just a few pages. How fares your crippling angst? But I haven't finished it yet, Lucy, have I? This is crazy, like a dream. Who actually are you? I'm your friend, John. I'm here to help. You've had a bad time, John. A dark, thick glass of a time, John. But you're better now, and I'm here to help you tell your story. <coughs> and sell the film rights, in which I might accept a minor role, and get your message out. But don't take my word for it, John. Here's your brain examiner, Paris. Right, so let's have a look at that. So... Call me Lucy, John. I adore your work. Can't you tell? It's so original, so unpredictable, so honest. And now we've got Nazi into title, we'll double yourselves. But Lucy, there aren't any Nazis in it. There's still time, John. Leave it with me. I've arranged your book launch, John, in just a few pages. How fares your crippling angst? But I haven't finished it yet, Lucy, have I? Oh, this is crazy, like a dream. Who actually are you? I'm your friend, John. I'm here to help. You've had a bad time, John. A dark, thick, class of a time, John. But you're better now, and I'm here to help you tell your story and sell the film rights, in which I might accept a minor role and get your message out. But don't take my word for it, John. Here's your brain examiner, Paris. Again, I think you could do the same thing there. It's quite nice. You've got John, a stark, thick, glass of a time, John. But you're better now. And I'm here to tell you, I'm here to help you tell your story and sell the film rights in which I might accept a minor role and get your message out. But don't take my word for it, John. Here comes your brain examiner, Paris. Oh. That's it, that's much, much better. Couldn't your hair different? Yeah. No offence in any mm. No offence, just great. Get in, John. You're driving? Where's Rosie Pop? She popped, John. I'm driving, John, because you need both hands and your perfect mouth. Oh, you filthy bugger. No, John, so you can read this out. Me? Featured in Poetry, Smoetry, Gazette? I can't believe it, Lucy. Thank you. However did you manage that? Oh, you know me, John. Licked a few arses. My pleasure. Smoke? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, 
Do you know, I think I'm really starting to enjoy myself, Lucy. Oh, Lucy, nice herbs. Homegrown, John. Free the medicine. One love. Oh, Lucy, have you ever loved someone so much you wanted everything about them, including their disease? Often, John. But we can use pig guts tied in the lover's knot. <laughs> Look, pull over in this lay-by and I'll read you one out, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm bored of STIs and queer diseases. Monogamous first time in 17 pages. Phrase by phrase, he's moved in hopefulness. First a folded mattress strapped to the roof, then a carload of dark thoughts to the tip. Today he bought a bathroom cabinet. He's redecorated my upstairs, beach-themed. Love doesn't unfold like sonnets, sadly measured out in 14 polished lines, followed by a dog, a flash of seagulls, gone. We fork fish and chips on Sheringham Beach. Tear open neat lemon finger wipes. My dog sleeps under his duvet and he's let in joysticks of Moroccan rose. Oh, John, now are you happy? Wringing teardrops from the devil. My safe word, should you need it, John, is more drugs. <laughs> Where are we off to next, Lucy? We're off to get your blood checked, John. It will only take a tick. Vroom, vroom. Excellent. So now we're card on two. And there you go, John. Didn't I promise you profit health? You did. And now you're my most familiar portrait, and yet my favourite face. My most familiar landscape, and yes, my favourite place. No one else comes half as close in all the human race. You are where my heart lies, and where I rest my case. Woo! Oh, thank you, John. You've done it again. Actually, I wrote it for... Shit! Lucy! We've forgotten Nelson! Fear not, dear John. Sweet Nelson's in recovery. And by my oath, will join us all too soon. Oh. Now get that lovely arse in gear, John Faust. You're alive and used from hell with fish rock in five, four, three... Bong! Bong! Excellent. Yeah, the way they do it on, when you're on, in a studio is they always go, it's a bit three, two, one, it's one of those. <laughs> but they perfect house. You did. And now you're my most familiar portrait, and yet my favourite face. My most familiar landscape, and yes, my favourite place. No one else comes half as close in all the human race. You are where my heart lies and where I rest my case. Oops. Thank you, John. You've done it again. Actually, I wrote it for shit, Lucy. We've forgotten Nelson. Fear not, dear John. Sweet Nelson's in recovery, and by my oath, will join us all too soon. No. Now get that lovely arse in gear, John Faust. You're live and news from hell with fish rock in five, four, three. No, you only need to do the oh, two. Oh, I just Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't do any of the other stuff. So. No. <laughs> I think it's too I'm a bit slow. Oh dear. House. Right. Now get that lovely arse in gear, John Faust. You're live from on news from hell with fish rock in five, four, three. Bong. And I think that that is the chorus's kid. Oh, you were brilliant, John. Brighter than a thousand stars on smack. Well, yes, it did seem to go rather well. Oh, your sails and Urdu jumped over the moon, John. Along with a cow I shall rather miss. I didn't even know I had sails in Urdu, Lucy. How fabulous. Oh, what pretty flags. And bunting. Oh, and who are these people protesting behind bars? Oh, who? Oh, them? Oof, no one, John. Just ignore them. It's only disabled people who refuse to be eaten. You know what they're like, John. Protest at anything. You must do something. We must do something, Lucifer. Must we? Lucy, even the United Nations have found the current Tory government 
guilty of grave and systematic abuse of disabled people's human rights. The United Nations, E, came quivering. Look, nobody listens to them. I'm serious, Lucy, this is all wrong. If the rich paid fair taxes, this wouldn't be happening. I demand to speak to the Prime Minister now! Ooh, normally I'm a master, but I'd be a slave for you, John. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Do you know that was a chat-up line somebody used to me once? Really? Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> was he dressed up at the time? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. Was in a leather bar in oh. Oslo. In Oslo? <laughs> Yeah. It should be real. Mm, must we? Okay. Yeah, must we? Suffering, don't I, obviously? Yep. But okay. yes, I was instead of them. Okay. So what are we, what do you want me to do from the beginning? Or just uh, that bit? Uh, hang on, let's just. Disabled people who refuse to be eaten. You know what they're like, John. Protest at anything. We must do something, Lucifer. Must we? Lucy! Even the United Nations have found the current Tory government guilty of grave and systematic abuse of <gasps> disabled people's <laughs> human rights. The Again, United must we? I don't think you're quite fed up enough. I'm not. Must. Sort of like, oh, must okay. we? That's better. Lucy, even the United Nations has found the current Tory government guilty of grave and systematic abuse of disabled people's human rights. The United Nations? Eek, I'm quivering. Look, nobody listens to them. I'm, I'm literally doing one of them. Like Sorry? A little sarcastic eek, kind of. Eek, I'm quivering. The United Nations. Oh. Eek, yes. Okay. Go on, sorry. Disabled people's human rights. The United Nations. Eek, I'm That's quivering. <laughs> Look, nobody listens to them. I'm serious, Lucy. This is all wrong. If the rich paid fair taxes, they would, this wouldn't be happening. I demand to speak to the Prime Minister now! Ooh, normally I'm a master, but I'd be a slave for you, John. Excellent, that's much better. Can we do it one without me talking on my breath? I don't <laughs> You were brilliant, John. Brighter than a thousand stars on smack. Yes! Well, it did seem to go rather well. Your sails in Urdu jumped over the moon, John, along with a cow I should rather miss. I didn't even know I had sails in Urdu, Lucy. How fabulous. Oh, what pretty bunting. And flags. And who are these people, Lucy, behind bars? Who? Oh, them. No one, John. Uh, oh, no one, John. Just ignore them. It's only disabled people who refuse to be eaten. You know what they're like, John. Protest at anything. But we must do something, Lucy. Must we? Lucy! Even the United Nations have found the current Tory government guilty of grave and systematic abuse of disabled people's human rights! The United Nations? Eek, I'm quivering. Look, nobody listens to them. I'm serious, Lucy. This is all wrong. If the rich paid fair taxes, this wouldn't be happening. I demand to speak to the Prime Minister. Now! Ooh, normally I'm a master, but I'd be a slave for you, John. Excellent. One tiny thing I'd say, do you know the bunting bit where you say, well, what's the bunting? What's yeah. The flag? And they're going to do a bit of um, sort of loosening up people's bodies, which I think. Bollocks. Still, you see, after all that, I've finished it. It's a bloody masterpiece, John. And you can. Oh. <laughs> so, hang on a sec. You, where do you. I find you here, John? I thought you would too, Lucy. Oh, John, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm so sorry. It's Nelson, isn't it? He really was the best dog ever. I know, John. If I could have torn down stars and brought that dog a new, my dear Nelson would be breathing yet. Oh, please. Can I just say what a shit part I've got? At the end of... At the start being operated on, and at the end I've lost an eye, lost a leg, and now I'm dead. Cheers. Nelson! You're on the front cover. Yeah, behind you in those horns. You know where you can stick them, don't you? Look, I just didn't <laughs> want to drag you through all my shit. I didn't even get capitals or bollocks. Still, Lucy, after all that, I've finished it. It's a bloody masterpiece, John, and you can quote me on that. No. 
that was Papa's cake. Oh, sorry. I, don't, no, I was just thinking of that line. I think, again, keep it really low the whole okay. way through. Because you actually mean it. Mm. Okay. So it's a bloody masterpiece, John. That, I finished it. It's a bloody masterpiece, John. And you can quote me on that. And I was promised cake. You made me go through hell to get to heaven, Lucy. But now that I'm here, well... Do you know, I don't think I've ever felt happier. You know what they say about moments of great happiness, John? They damage the heart. Thus am I wounded. Oh, get a room. Just look at those stars. Look up at the stars above and join them so they spell love. Know that I am looking to spelling love right back at you. Well, you remembered. You always remember. Will you stay with me a moment, Lucy? Hold my hand. We will always be together, John, you and I. And can I suggest that with you, between, um, you will, will you stay with me a moment, Lucy? Hold my hand. Okay. And at that point, just take a moment. Imagine the sun's going down. Just take a little moment mm -hmm. before you say, we'll always be together, John, you okay. and I. Look at those stars. Really? You oh, remembered, yeah. you always remember, bottom of page oh, 28. Yeah. Okay, no, that was pretty liberal. You remembered, you always remember. Will you take a, m will you stay a moment with me, Lucy? Hold my hand. We will always be together, John, you and I, looking at the stars and Fair Nelson. We don't will? Oh, no, sorry, don't touch me. We will? Don't you touch me. We will? Forever? Of course, my best beloved John. We will always be together, John, first, right here inside your perfect head. My end is my beginning, Alpha and Omega. An end I had predicted in an epic, a poetic drama, a blasphemous book of state sanctioned torture, scanned and hung on hooks behind me as I read this to you now. I press my hand against his back. Lift one wing, his eye a tiny screw, screwed in tight. He knows nothing of this, of course, slapped down, face first. So keen to live, he died. It's really quite moving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I was about to shed a tear and then you interrupted them. Oh, 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 o